Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike. Today we're wrapping up our, our warm up talk. So we talked about self myofascial release and foam rolling stuff. Uh, yeah, you might not need it, but yeah, you could also do it. Yeah, it might make you feel better. Okay, that's step one, foam rolling. Uh, step two is, you know, maybe just some general movement, move around, especially if you've been sitting down all day or especially if you just woke up. All that stuff is really responding well, responds really well to just general movement. Um, so sometimes that's really good for you. Step three, muscle activation. Some things do shut off, especially in certain people, and especially if you sit down a lot. Uh, so if you are a coach or if you are a person who knows your own body really well, think, hey, what am I never using? It's probably your butt and your hamstrings. What am I always using? My calves and my neck and my back and my maybe pecs. Spoiler alert, that's where the body compensates. <laughs> Um, and, and think about those things. Don't activate necessarily the things that are already activated, but definitely activate the things that are underactivated. And maybe those overactivated things will start to relax. But if it's not enough, then step four, do your dynamic mobility, do maybe even some stretching stuff to further inhibit the things that are overactive. Because inhibiting things that are overactive is more important, not just as important, but more important than turning on the right things. The reason that turning on the right things works is because it turns off the right things as well. Step five, quick one today. Start sweating. Just do stuff. Don't take too much rest. Don't dilly dally too much. It's OK if you want to talk to someone. It's OK if you, you know, you want to decompress after your long day or whatever. Um, but don't call it a warm up if you haven't started sweating yet. Try to move around a lot, get that heart rate elevated over, you know, 120 beats per minute and get some stuff going. Maybe even a little bit of muscle burn. All that is really good. And, you know, if you just rush through whatever sets that you're doing, whatever exercises that you're doing, you will challenge the cardiovascular system. You will turn on the aerobic system in all your little muscles there or hopefully big muscles. And your body will be ready to start making energy and it will be ready for whatever you want to throw at it during your workout. That is step five for writing your own warm ups. Hopefully these five steps make some sense. I've thought a lot about warm ups, probably too much, um, probably not enough about real workouts. Uh, I have previously written, you know, an hour long warm up for somebody because I wanted to cover all my bases and that was stupid. I will never do that again. I'm here to help you cut away the unessential stuff so that you can keep the things that are really going to be big bang for your buck.